mattress is not old at all. Three months is not a long time, but I'm already sinking into it because I sleep on the same side every night and it's a full size, but I don't really sleep on the left side. So you can totally see the body tent where I, where I sleep every night. Also, sometimes I wake up feeling stiff. I've had a lot of lower back problems in my life and sleeping at night, it's always really hot in my bedroom. So I didn't really know anything about Casper mattresses before going into this. I had seen their ads on the subway. I think I had looked them up once to see how much their mattress was when I was doing my mattress shopping three months ago, but it was well over $1,000 and I didn't want to touch it. I mean, that was not in my budget. So we're gonna go to the Casper store and have them sort of suggest and talk me through the different mattresses. And then I'm gonna try it out for a week and it's gonna replace my mattress in my apartment. So this is the Wave. Five layers all work together to give you an experience that's super comfortable, super breathable, and really supportive. I'm gonna test the Casper Wave mattress for comfort, support, temperature, and price. It's finally here! So I'm finally in bed after a really long day of work and about to try out the mattress. I'm so tired and really excited to get to sleep. The Casper mattress was incredibly comfortable. One of the weekends I was testing it, I went skiing upstate for the day and spent a good chunk of time in the car and I was really worried coming back that it would just be really hard on my body and I was honestly way less sore than I thought I would be. It's becoming increasingly hard to get out of bed in the morning and get my butt moving. I don't feel like doing anything. I just feel like lying in bed and it's kind of unlike me, but maybe this Casper has something to do with it. Most mornings I woke up and it was kind of just like enveloped in this bubble of comfortable mattress and I did not want to move. So for comfort, uh, on a scale of one to 10, I would give Casper a 10 out of 10. I'm feeling a little bit of back pain. I stand at a standing desk all day at work and it's been a little sore and tight for most of the day. Uh, and I'm not really sure if that has anything to do with the mattress or just me sleeping on it wrong, which is a high possibility. <laughs> with the Casper mattress, it, it feels like there's a lot underneath me and a lot supporting me and I don't sink in it. And when you kind of get into it, it after a while it molds to your body and you get out and it just kind of like raises back up. There's not a lot of give to the point where it stays in one position. For support, I'd give the Casper mattress an eight out of 10. One of the features that Casper really pushes with the Casper Wave is that it's temperature controlled and helps keep you cool. And I sometimes had problems with that in my you know, heat control department, but that particular week it really wasn't an issue and I never particularly woke up hot or anything, so it seems to have done its job. As far as temperature, I'd give Casper a nine out of 10. As much as I love this mattress, $2,000 is, is way out of my price range. I just can't see myself spending that much money for a bed right now. The Casper outperformed by far the mattress that I, that I normally sleep on.